What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to run off where we left off, we are continuing our crusade against the Spanish in the Americas and we're going to start clearing out their forces in Cuba, as it's a very 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 valuable territory. More wealth for me, less wealth for Spain, what's not to like? So without further ado, let us attack the forces currently. We've got around them, but then we'd still have to fight them eventually. Their, their navy would actually extract them from that port so we're going to knock out a couple of the Caribbean islands and then start to push into South America just to really put the squash on the Spanish and the collapse of the Spanish Empire because we do have a number of we do have a number of armies moving towards their existing possessions and I think I'm probably just going to have a giant battery like so off on the flank And then try seek to capture this rise. So let's use my Hessian line to advance around in this direction, or maybe up to the ruins. And these chaps can be a bit of a reserve. My cavalry is going to be on the left, skirting, and they are gendarmerie. I need to pay more attention to the stats of my cavalry just to kind of. Just to be a bit more aware of what I'm charging people into sometimes. Chamber's bodyguard is going to be in the centre. Good. And engage. So my main battle line. Advance. The Hessian line on the flank. Also advance. Let's bring out my reserves. Who I need to turn that fire well off for. Let's advance up my cavalry and my general's bodyguard. So this is colonial light. So I'm moving these guys up into a run because these guys may end up heading off some of the light cav. So we're starting to try pound their guns, but I don't think it's going to do much good. Yeah, these chaps are running into position. Run my cavalry around wide. There we go. We're going to engage. Quick lambs come in, and decimated the light cavalry. Let's run these guys as well to provide more firepower. And let's retarget my light batteries. Oh no, they're running towards us. And these guys are about to get charged. But it's only colonial light, so I'm not going to worry about it. Advance up this flank. Nope, they're running on. Tie them up. They're on the move. It's running my pikemen up into them if they wish to engage in such a manner the cavalry are going to then move prepare to move in to charge the gun batteries well they're going to move in now and my general is going to move over this direction in the event that these chaps decide to stick around Let's get all of them to all my artillery to fire at these pikes Yeah, they are going to get annihilated by my artillery, by my, by my infantry. Charge them into this three-pounder. Nope. Extricate yourselves immediately. You chase them down. Let's begin presenting a new threat. 
Okay, where's my pikes? They're supposed to be chasing down this cavalry unit. Not running in front of my infantry getting shot. Set these guys to fill in the line. Push up. They're having a good fun shape, taking down the, the buccaneers. All my artillery focus on this colonial unit, my howitzers focus on this unit. Because I don't want to run straight into them now, because they've got lots of cavalry, anti cavalry barriers. So, my general, let's bring him into the fold. They love their general to move forward far enough, I may just charge into them. Yep, yeah, that's the end of the guns. you guys up like so. Mm, let's just charge on past the general if that's an option. Charge into their fleeing troops. Especially pikemen. Feels quite fitting that my cavalry are ch cutting down Spanish pikes. Oh. Spin these guys around. to that, just go straight in. All my artillery, attempt to snipe their general. At very long range. Damn near max range, but the shots are coming in. Misses. shot. <laughs> it's not... A, it's not... Let's charge it into these independent gunnery units. Charge into their artillery. They charge into their general. Let's just halt before I will on everything, even though they did get hit. And here they are, finally engulfed by my chasing infantry. Beautiful. Turn on fire wheel, just to try and gun those remaining gunners down. Oh, this one guy made it. Oh, I don't know if they... I'll just end it. <laughs> if I continued it, it would be 
And towns more or less counts as a city battle, so a loss is a destruction. Oh, I thought it was. My bad. Either way, we will... Ch oh, God. Chase. Keep your replenishment going. Keep my ships... Okay, now, now get inside the port because now you're out of range of these ships, even though they're fairly weak. You were captured. You're en route. Good. So once I take Cuba and Hispaniola, then there's a lot of freedom to move around. Actually, Dutch Guyana, it's tempting to recruit. No, there's no point, actually. Because if I'm going to recapture them, then I'll just send an actual army. So maybe... Maybe just start recruiting some stuff from Jamaica, then ship them over there in due course. So you're here ready to do battle with the Spanish when they arrive. This guy's got an angle on the capital. Well, next turn he will. Um... The army's going to move in, well, it's ready to move in and hit Milan, or will be. So lots of chaff. Then you're up here ready to move against the Austrians when they decide to betray us. Good. If you want, to, if, if this Russian army wants to move into Yelvaga, or Yelgava, they're more than welcome to. York and Cavalry, let's recruit a... Can I recruit any, any light dragoons? Or just dragoons? Carabiners are enough just to push them out of this port. Um, seems a bit worthless now, having all you chaps here. So let's take, to be honest, all of you, apart from one, and dis disembark, or dis... Ooh. It's not my policies down to produce growth, because right now, because I, like I saw there, lots of my extremist policies were severely impacting the growth of that region. Everyone else is shifting around. Whereas in India, whoa, the Persians are on route. So I doubt they will give us a turn's breathing space unless I build rice farms for them to interfere with. But soon we will be pushing up into Persia and then we'll probably finish our war with the, the Ottomans because there's not many left. And we'll probably, at some point, we will also engage against the Genoese because they are also our enemies. Portugal's... Yeah, it's a decent garrison. Okay, so I think the only thing I can do is just hit end turn because right now everyone's done everything in the last turn. Everyone's moved max um, as far as they can. Don't try it, Austria. Although it's, it's fascinating to see how they've avoided... Oh, okay, they have engaged me and they've also got some armies coming in on the flank so I'm going to pull back. I didn't want to have too dodgy of a position. Yeah. Spanish forces are moving to be as frustrating as possible in the most classic way. So now the Russians have uh, do not have many options left to them. To be honest, I think we're ultimately going to end up declaring war on the Austrians probably ourselves because, ourselves, because look at them, we're completely surrounding them. Yep, they're on the move. They're also, oh, they're going to hit my lone ship very well. Sad face. Doesn't matter though. 
One navy cannot change the world. They are, they are going to go back to raiding that port, I assume? No, they've broken that one. So I'll go back and fix it. They're en route. <laughs> Russia is now just a nuisance. Good. Kind of. To be honest, actually, if, I had, if I've got some agents in India, I'd very much like to watch what the Mughals are doing, because right now they are probably suffering a lot from bankruptcy. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Okay, so let's send you to run around and hit Pavel. Ooh, it will bring in this army from across the river. No, I'd like a bit of time for you guys to get your stuff together. So in which case, I'm going to move these guys northwards. Ready to begin interfering. Get them made to move up, move down, and hit Don Voisco. Let's recruit General's bodyguard, two units of guard de corps, and let's recruit some chasseur, chasseur cheval, and a unit of hussars. So these guys can be a bit of a mopping up force against some of these more frustrating smaller stacks of troops. Lots of good investment into Flanders. You are moving towards this general. Yep, the economic bounty that pours forth from French coffers. Maintain siege for now. So you got you go over to Santa Fe to have a look at what's over there. Lots of recruitment in Ingria. So you've got a new army on the go. Uh, it wasn't everything. I don't know what the, one of the, one of the relations of these Persians is with Dagestan. What about if we have peace? Good. Peace for now. So I would like to hit Dagestan. To be honest, you're probably not needed. You're going to sit here and get ready to hit Udabur. Do some upgrades. You're probably going to be ready to move up to Neroon. Freemasonry in Boston. So I'm going to scroll through this and if you guys wish to Read it, feel free to pause. Um, let's go back to Europe. Okay, so let's get... Let's do some really cool, get some cool units for this army. So he's got one Maison de Roy, so Maison de Roy, 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 whatever. Ooh, let's get some infantry VO. Infantry Petit Vio. So what's the difference between Vio and Petit Vio? Okay, the Petits are, Petits are actually a bit better at shooting. They've got five more accuracy. But they're... But they... The, 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 the large... I suppose these are almost like the young... I don't know, I suppose you'd almost consider these like the old guard and the young guard. The young guard shoot better, but... They might shoot better, but they also um, get. They don't do as well in firefights. No, sorry, they don't do better in combat. So let's get Grenadier de France. Good, that's quite a nice little army being built here. Do I send. 
this army south to secure Gibraltar. Sit and just let's destroy the university, then get up onto this hill. Attempt to actually do this. It will also draw in the garrison in Morocco, which is pretty neat. Let's get you back into this port and let's fix it. It's quite a nice little army, really. Hmm. Company these chaps together, then bring them down to the centre. You are oh, you need a lot of TLC, so you need two units of artillery. Let's get a howitzer, let's get a chasseur, 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 cheval. I know you've got yeah, next unit of cavalry won't hurt. So you're recruiting four units, so you can get three more units of line infantry. Cool. Then let's knock down or take out Kiev, I think. That would be fun. Or what might be useful actually is if I take take these militia out. Drop in two units of howitzers. You take their place. Cool. And you need to actually do some replenishment. As do you, but not so much. Let's assault Kiev and get ready to capture one of the last... Or is this... No, their last big city. Which is pretty neat. This would be a nice town. And I wonder to, wonder to what extent I need to push them in order to gain them as a protectorate. Probably not till probably till they've only got one region left, and even then it's one turn till surrender. They either die or become a protectorate. Okay, cool. I do like attacking these big cities. Okay, so let's employ a couple of batteries. Deploy my house is in the centre. To be honest, it's usually two units. Is two units is usually good enough to secure a breach. I might make it three actually. In case I need to take a breach and also maybe hop on over a section of the wall, that'd be a good idea. And that leaves us with two, three, four, five, and a grenadier unit. Who are going to hide in the woods? Presumably, presumably I can't all hide here. Nope. They can hide here and remain immune to the artillery, to the gunfire. Let's have you all set to quick climb. But for, for... Ooh, so you... Well, the 12 and the 24 pounders, there's no difference in range, it's just firepower. And my 12 pounders will actually reload slightly faster because of their experience. Interesting. But let's fight. So let's pick. Pick their targets. It's a lot of deaths. Provincial militia, provincial militia. They do have some interesting guard units in here, though. These are all militia. Ah, no way. There they are. That's some of them, anyway. They do have some Tsar guards. There they are. They're only 48. It's upsetting, but they're getting to the front line. Go for this provincial militia unit that's taking its very, 
very nice position behind the wall here. Tell you what is very nice of them to Oh that's bloody close to my gun. Right there. Oh, a good hit would be excellent, especially with all these troops bundled up here. Oh, yes. Lovely stuff. <laughs> I suppose they may as well just keep engaging people on the walls for now in, la in lieu of decent target To be honest, maybe aiming for these bastions might be the first initial good shot to dis destroy and dismantle these walkways. Oops, poor Union Fusiliers. More quick time coming in. Lots of Russian dead bodies. I mean, I could hit them and go puff up the up the up the path, but I don't think there's any need. Let's speed up time a little bit, because right now it's just my artillery doing buckets of damage to the walls. I think my guns are under fire. My howitzers are anyway. Let's have a look at their status. So no one's lost a gun. We've lost crews. This guy's lost a training team. Okay, speed up time. Because once you put a hole in the walls, then things go really quickly then. Because they start redeploying. And start sending nice blocks of troops. Like down here to cover the walls. It's 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 lovely. And there's no way to stop it either, dropping quick climb on them. So one more volley. Another volley of quick climb shells coming in. In which case then these guys can So these three can go this side of the bastion. These guys can go this side of the bastion. And these chaps can begin knocking down the bastion next door. Actually, hold fire. And let's bring up My infantry. Whoop, here come the howitzers. This could be a lovely little quick climb shot down here. Sort of. Bit of a miss. That was a good hit. And then these guys. You also move up, and when they are past a suitable distance, either start hitting the bastions or start hitting whatever. So these guys are still at risk of engaging them. So aim for the section of the wall. To be honest, there's not a whole lot up in, up in the wall. This would be worth dismantling. Is a 
you get up here you get up here you get up here these guys are walking which is not ideal So the grenadiers are going to hit that section of the wall. You go there, you go there. You guys move up, ready to engage them near the breach. These guys are engaging forces leaving the breach. Fire will on, fire will on. You guys can all fire well, good. These guys can just wait and hold position. The howitzers, you start dropping round shot onto the guys that have fallen back. She start focusing on the heavy horse artillery. Send in one unit to the breach and hold fire. You guys keep firing because these chaps going to come out over here. Everyone's either f everyone's either routing or they are damn near dead already. This is the provincial line charge in with my grenadiers this chap that charged in alone you kill the Russian Russian trooper you also engage them you guys don't just climb the wall oh, bit of a sally out on this flank oh these brave brave grenadier guardsmen brave souls Killed almost to a man. These men are next. Finish off these last two guard grenadiers. These Russians are guards. Yep, dead before they can even get in get in the door. Can we kill the last of these Russians? There's only two of them left. One of them left. Get him! Get him, get him, get him! Charge in. Let's run these guys down the steps. Let's advance these guys up. They will begin to clear out the, the Pandaras. That means that the flank, this breach, will be completely clear. Lovely stuff. Kill the last of the militia. Let's fall back from this breach, just because it's slowing the game down. 
makes it look super ugly. Let's kill these guys. They have 15 of them left. Charge the regiment of foot from the rear. Let's do firewall off and then firewall back on. And hopefully, these guys will gun down this horse unit without ever needing to actually engage them. Present. successfully flee oh god everyone's gone perfect well, there you go <laughs> Kiev and I think we are really 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 pushing the Russians into a corner yeah lovely exchange ratio there Kiev is ours they're unhappy about it as you can imagine Pretty good resounding win. These guys replenish and get ready to probably push towards Moldavia and then to Laval. Then we're ready to start to push into the homeland. So Gdansk is not suffering from is not suffering from bankruptcy. So they're still rich. Is Russia. Russia apparently has a more powerful military than me, which I doubt. That's all been upgraded. Yeah, upgraded there, and I'm not going to fix it. And everything down here is going to stay the way it is. Although I expect eventually there'll be a sally of some description. Um, but I'll take that. Um, anyway, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.